yummy red velvet cupcake with cream cheese frosting. All right, guys, we are about to bake today. I told you all I'm all about this easy, doing it the easy way. Well, I've got us an easy um, recipe for Thanksgiving here. If you've got some small children that's coming, um, you can make them some cupcakes. So what we're going to make today are red velvet cupcakes. Okay, I got this recipe from Divas Can Cook. It is so easy and simple. You all can make this for Thanksgiving. Very simple. Uh, easy red velvet cupcake um, um, recipe here. We're going to put it together really quick. It's really simple and easy. Anybody can do it. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to put in two cups of sugar. I've got two cups of sugar here. We're going to pour that in like that. And I'm also going to pour in three-fourths cup. Can y'all see? I've got three-fourths cup of uh, vegetable oil. I'm pouring that in like that. And I'm going to use my uh, handheld mixer because this recipe is so simple and easy. I didn't even feel like getting the stand out going through all of that. So we're just going to mix this together just like this. Our oil and sugar. We're going to combine those two in our bowl here. I don't use my stand mixer when I'm doing like little small recipes like this. I'll just grab this handheld and just put it out and, and just pour this recipe together really, really quick. So Thanksgiving today is on um, Thursday, actually. Thanksgiving is a week from today, all right? So you can put this on your um, list to make for the children for Thanksgiving. All right, we've combined our sugar and oil. Now I'm going to put in, I've got two eggs. I'm going to put them in one at a time. We're going to combine these eggs one at a time, just like this. Just like this. All right, mixing that. Now we'll put our other one in. Just like that. Those look good and all combined together. Okay, and I'm going to turn this off. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put in two. Um, what am I going to put in? I'm going to put in two teaspoons. If I can find here we go. I'm going to put in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. That's one. That's two. That's my vanilla extract going in. All right. The next thing we're going to put in is our buttermilk. Buttermilk. I've got buttermilk here. This is one cup of buttermilk. One cup. We're stirring this together like this. And we're going to put it in. That's our buttermilk. Okay. Okay. Next thing I'm going to put in is my red food coloring. My red food coloring. And I use a, a fourth of a cup. That's what I put for my uh, red velvet cake. And I put it in this one as well. And so we just going to put that in like that. Okay. That's our red food coloring. And now we're going to mix it for while I'm doing that. Let me put my water in the microwave. Because we're going to need some hot, we need hot water for it. We'll let that heat up. We need hot water for this recipe. So right now we're just going to mix our buttermilk and our vanilla extract and our red food color. We're mixing it all together. Put my hot water in and it should be hot by now. Let's see. Yep. Okay. 
right here, I got a half a cup. I got a half a cup of hot. Well, first of all, before I put my hot water in, I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of vinegar. One teaspoon of vinegar, like that. Let's move all this Oops, over here out of the way. Since we're done with all of that. And now I've got my one half, a half a cup of warm hot water. Well, not warm, but it's hot. This is hot water. So half a cup of hot water. And we're going to pour that in like that. And we're just going to mix it all together. Y'all see how quickly... I'm putting this together. Do y'all see? Mm -hmm. Trying to get my mixer to work here. What do I want to do right? Come on now. All right, now. Now that we've done that, what I'm going to do, the last ingredient is our flour. I've got two cups of white lily all-purpose flour. I've got a teaspoon of um, baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a teaspoon of Himalayan salt. And all of that. Oh, I forgot. And I've got a tablespoon of um, Hershey's unsweetened cocoa. And I just pour it all in just like that. Just like that. Then I just kind of make sure it all gets folded in here like this before I start mixing it all up together. Just like this guy. Okay, just combining all of this in here together. And then we're gonna get ready to mix it up with our mixer but i didn't want to mix it too much so i kind of mix it like this so we don't use the beater and have a tough um cupcake okay all right that's good enough for that let me just clean up our spatula here make sure we have everything into our batter as I tell you all all the time, get it all off your batter because I mean off your um spatula because this is your batter, right? All right. Let's see. Let's get that right there, and now we're just gonna combine this. Y'all think I'm kidding about easy and quick and simple, don't you? Mm hmm Okay, well, well keep keep watching and you go, gonna see. She mean what she said when she said simple and easy death. Yup. As Ava can say, yup. <laughs> All right, that's it for that. Now, you finna put these, honey? Let me move this um mixer out of our way. over there for now. Let's put this right here. And I'm going to just give this one good stir. Like this right here. Make sure everything is in here like it's supposed to be. Alright. That's it. That is it. Then the next thing that I do is put the batter in the cupcakes. I mean, in the, uh, the, the cupcake line. All right. Here we go. Here's our cupcakes. I got some red ones and white in the middle. All right. And then I just get me a fourth of a cup like this. Pour it in. Pour it in. Pour it in. 
You have to be here. Just like that. So what I'm gonna do, just want to show y'all, what I'm gonna do is fill up, I've got this tray, and this tray, because this fits, um, this recipe, I can do two trays. So we're gonna put these, put our um, batter in our cupcake pans here, and I'll come back and show you all when I get ready. All right, guys, our timer is going off, and we're getting ready to put our cupcakes in the oven. That's tray one, and here's tray two going in the oven. All right, we're going to cook these on 325 for 20 minutes. Set the timer for 20 minutes. There we go. When they come out, I'll show you. Hold your horses. Okay, guys. Our timer is going off on our cupcakes. Our red velvet cupcakes. Woo. It's hot. Let me make sure I got the cupboard on here. There we go. These are our cupcakes. These are our... Oh, yeah. They're good and ready. All right, it's been 20 minutes. It took 20 minutes. This thing is hot. And these are our cupcakes. Let me make sure I got this covered and I'll show y'all. <laughs> okay. Can y'all see those? These are our red velvet cupcakes. So we're going to let them, I'm going to put them on the cooling rack and let them cool. We're going to let them cool. And when I get ready to ice them, um, let me show you. When I get ready to ice that, I can't see that way. When I get ready to ice them, I'll show you all. I'm going to let them cool. And then I'll put ice. Um, a dozen of them, I'm going to put nuts on. And a dozen I'm not. So I'll show you all the um, finish. I I'll show you while I'm um, icing them. And then you can see. So hold your horse. I wanted to show you all I was um, making my, uh, getting my icing together, but I just wanted to show y'all one of these cupcakes. Can y'all see how moist and look at that hot, look at that, look at that cupcake. When I tell you this is a delicious cupcake right here, I just want to show you all, they're still cooling, but as I was taking them out, out of the pan, putting them on the rack, I just wanted to show you all, they're just so they're just so soft and moist. So soft and moist. Okay. Just want to show you that. Okay, guys. Our cupcakes have cooled. And I'm getting prepared to um, frost them. And uh, we're going to put them in our piping bag. And we're going to pipe them. Okay. I'll show you all. I didn't show you me uh, making this cream cheese frosting. I've done a video on this frosting, so um, I'll get Eric to put you a, um, put the link up there for those that have not seen the um, video of the frosting. Okay? Mm, 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 mm. Good old frosting. Cream cheese frosting. Okay? So we're just getting our piping bag ready here. Got my icing in here. We're gonna, I've got my number 1M tip on here. And we're going to get the frosting. Here we go. Hope y'all can see me. Just putting our frosting on here. Okay. And there you go. Easy, like I told you all, easy peasy. Easy peasy. 
red velvet cupcakes. Red velvet. I'm going to let Eric um, taste test one. Okay, in a little bit. Okay. I'm going to let him taste test one for us in just a little bit. But I want to show you all these easy red velvet cupcakes. Okay. That's just the plain ones. All right. We're going to put these to the side. And then we're going to make the, the uh, we're going to make the pecan, the ones with pecans on them, okay? So, hold your horses. Let me get my pecans. Hold your horses. All right, guys. Now, we're getting ready to frost these. And these are going to be the ones that we put our um, nuts on, okay? So, we're going to put some frosting on them first, just like we did the others. All right, and then I've got my, can y'all see here? I've got my nuts right here. And we're just gonna put some of these on top, just like this right here. Place them on there just like that. Just like that. Okay, and that's our ones with nuts. That's our red velvet cupcakes with nuts on them. Okay, and so that's that's really like I told y'all a very simple, a very simple and easy recipe. Y'all see, I had to pull my hat back. I got hot. Hot flesh. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> but anyway, that's how I do the red velvet cupcakes. Thanksgiving, you know, if you're baking a big red velvet cake and it may not feed everybody like the children. So you give the grown ups the red velvet slice, you know, from the cake. And then you do these um, cupcakes for the children. There you go. You do these red velvet cupcakes for the children and you won't have any problem. <laughs> Just wanted to show you all a real quick, easy red velvet um, cupcake recipe. I got it from Divas Can Cook and I use it all the time. You all can too. Make this for Thanksgiving for the children. Do that, you all, and you'll be glad that you did. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to our channel. All of our new subscri subscribers, we are grateful and thankful for you. We appreciate you all so much for being a part of the TNT community. And we see your comments. We're reading them. We thank you, you for watching and subscribing. I hope you make these cupcakes for Thanksgiving. And uh, we look forward to the next time that I come on here and show you all something. We've got a subscriber wanting me to do a burnt sugar cake. Look out. Here it comes. Love you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you the next time. Let the journey continue. Bye-bye.